In knot physics, particles are knots in the space-time manifold. Those knots have degrees of freedom, such that they can change size and rotate. This is shown most clearly in the toy model on the left, where we have a knot in the manifold, and that knot is rotating and changing size. We've added on a few extra visual cues to make it clearer what's happening. There's a sphere surrounding the knot, indicating its size, and there's a vector pointing outwards from the center of the knot, indicating both the knot's size and angle of rotation. We can describe that vector in polar coordinates with a radius c and an angle theta. Equivalently, we can describe the same vector using a complex number. We refer to that complex number as the knot's amplitude, a, and set a equal to c e to the i theta. Then we can use this knot amplitude, a, to represent the size and rotation of the knot. On the right side, we see the comparable situation in knot physics. We have a knot in the space-time manifold, and that knot is changing in size as it is rotating. But in this case, we are more limited. We cannot show the full five spatial dimensions, and so we cannot actually show the knot in the space-time manifold. Instead, we indicate the position of that knot using a sphere, and likewise, we indicate the size of the knot using the size of the sphere. As the knot changes in size, the sphere also changes in size. We are even more challenged trying to represent the rotation of this knot in the space-time manifold. The knot rotates in the dimensions x4 and x5, but we don't have enough dimensions in this video to show that rotation, and so we simply show a rotation that we can demonstrate, and we show the knot rotating in dimensions that are parallel to the space-time manifold. We will simply remember that this indicates that the knot is rotating, but that it is rotating in the dimensions x4 and x5, rather than the dimensions x1 and x2 as is shown here. 